Welcome to Practical Pearls in Asthma. Let's get them. Asthma is a chronic inflammatory disorder, characterized by a reversible narrowing of the airways. Reversibility, that is, improvement in FEV1 by 15% or more after bronchodilator or steroid therapy differentiates it from COPD. Patient may present with wheeze, cough, or shortness of breath. Some patients present with chronic cough only and are diagnosed on spirometry or bronchial provocation test. This type of asthma is known as cough variant asthma. Symptoms of asthma are especially pronounced in night or early morning and improves over course of the day. Peak flow readings will show morning dips in asthma. Asthma is mainly a clinical diagnosis based on typical history and is supported by evidence of obstructive pattern with reversibility on spirometry. Histamine or methicoline challenge test is bronchial provocation test to check airway hyperresponsiveness. It is done rarely in those who have normal spirometry but are strongly suspected to have asthma. If asthma patient improves on weekends or holidays, suspect asthma triggers at workplace. Ask the patient to measure their peak flow at intervals at work and at home at the same time of day. If peak flow readings are better at home, it suggests presence of asthma triggers at workplace. In resistant asthma, consider evaluating for associated conditions, like GERD, allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis, polyarteritis nodosa, and churg strauss syndrome. All that wheezes is not asthma. Remember this famous quote by Chevalier Jackson and look for other conditions that can also present with wheeze. These include pulmonary edema, COPD, large airway obstruction, superior vena cava obstruction, bronchiectasis, and bronchiolitis obliterans. Higher doses of inhaled corticosteroids may be required in smokers even in step 1 management. Quitting smoking will achieve a better control. Therefore, educate and help your patient to quit smoking. Out of five steps of therapy for chronic asthma treatment, start treatment at a step most appropriate to severity. Move up if needed, or down if control is good for more than three months. If needed, rescue courses of oral steroid may be used at any time. Use long-acting beta agonist or LABA in combination with inhaled steroids to avoid paradoxical bronchospasm that may occur with LABA if used alone. Formoterol has rapid action and can be used as reliever therapy in addition to maintenance therapy. This is known as MART, an acronym that stands for Maintenance and Reliever Therapy. Patients who are on long-term glucocorticoid tablets, for example more than three months, or are receiving more than three or four steroid rescue courses per year, are at risk of systemic side effects. The risk of osteoporosis is reduced by giving bisphosphonates. These patients should be considered for biologic therapy to minimize side effects caused by long-term use of oral glucocorticoids. Omalizumab is anti-IgE monoclonal antibody preferred in resistant asthma patients with high serum IgE levels. Anti-interleukin-5 antibodies, like mepolizumab and reslizumab, are used in resistant asthma patients with high eosinophil counts. On ABGs in acute asthma attack, partial pressure of carbon dioxide levels is lower than 34 mm of mercury. This is because patient hyperventilate. If PaCO2 is in normal range, it indicated acute severe asthma. And, if it is high, or is rising, it is near-fatal asthma. 
Manage such patient by mechanical ventilation in ICU. This is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Did you find it useful? Let us know in the comment section below.